am out on a walk with Maverick. This is actually my first time working with him. Josh has done all of this amazing work. Notice we're off leash, walking in heel, nice and calm in the mind and the body. Heel means follow at the left side, walk at my pace and direction. Good boy. All right, so if we're talking about that his head should stay in, slightly behind as well. If his head moves out of this position, that's when the e-collar turns on. And that's why this is not restraining with a leash. It's training him to stay in this spot. And if he leaves this spot, that's how he turns the e-collar on. So if he's going forward, I'm using stem. If he's lagging behind or going too far left, I'm using tone. This guy was more complicated than normal because Somehow he developed an association to e-collar that meant scream at any number. I clicked right there, I'm at 25. So he would scream even if it was at like a four, just out of complaint, because he was frustrated that he was being asked to do something. So we got rid of that. Just took a little bit of extra work. He's doing really good. My neighbor's been walking around over there. Okay, so. This is how we keep a nice heel. Uh, sit. Good boy. If I stop, he sits. Stay. If he does not sit and stay like I asked, I would just click this button. That's how we keep it reliable. Okay. Down. Good boy. No. Down. Good. So if you ask him to down, he doesn't. Click your button. Repeat the command if needed. That's how you're going to keep the dog listening the first time. Good job. Let's try a recall here. Getting your dog to you. I'm going to give the verbal and then tap the tone. Come. Good boy. Good job. Right to me. Sits right in front of me. Perfect position. Stay. Let's do a release. No. Stay. Good. Still need some reminders here and there. Break. Good boy. 